Hello, you're watching the NAN News Highlights. I am Timmy Tope Bonley. Residents of Nasarawa State have expressed optimism that the scheduled visit of President Mohamed Buhari on Tuesday will douse tensions created by a herdsman and farmers' crisis in the area. The President's visit and dialogue with relevant stakeholders will pave way for peace in the area. The embattled former National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, Ulisa Mitsu, today appeared in court on a stretcher having arrived at the court premises in an ambulance. Justice Okunabang, who had at the last adjourned date, threatened to revoke Mitsu's bill if he failed to appear in court, adjourned hearing in the matter until March 14. Mitsu's counsel, Onyechi Ikpiazu, had pleaded with the court that his client was not disposed to continue in his trial while lying on a stretcher. Students of the Modibo Adama University of Technology, Yula, have deserted the institution following Sunday night's riot over alleged blasphemous statements against Prophet Muhammad posted by students on WhatsApp. There had been growing tensions in the institution following a recent students' union election that polarized the students along religious lines. Supporters and detractors of South African President Jacob Zuma protested outside the ruling party's headquarters in Johannesburg as the embattled leader reportedly refused to set down. Scandal-plagued Zuma has been under increased pressure to leave office before the expiration of his term in 2019, but reportedly dug in his heels during talks with African National Congress ANC top brass on Sunday night. South Africa's opposition parties and factions in the ANC say Zuma should not be allowed to keep the annual State of the Nation address on Thursday, calling him a lame duck president since the election of reformer Cyril Ramaphosa as ANC leader. First Bank of Nigeria PLC says its automated teller machines dispensed over 2.8 trillion naira from January to December 2017. The bank also accounted for 37% bill payment services on ATMs in the nation's banking industry. An official of the bank said the bank had deployed 2,897 ATMs across the country. French pharmaceutical company Sanofi Pasteur says it stands by the efficacy of its anti-dengue vaccine, insisting that it is safe in spite of preliminary data showing that at least three deaths in the Philippines might be connected to the drug. Sanofi also rejected a demand by the Department of Health for a full refund of 3.5 billion pesos, an equivalent of $70 million spent to purchase Dengvaxia, the anti-dengue vaccine for a nationwide immunization program. For details of these and other stories, log on to our website, nan.ng.